What is up YouTube Thrift School over here outside of Goodwill. I haven't been here in a little while. We're going to go inside, see what we can find to buy and sell on eBay and Amazon. Got my face mask on. Car is off. Let's go check it out. Hopefully we find a lot of good stuff today. So the first area I like to go to is the electronics. I did take a quick glance at the glass case where they keep all the valuables and there was nothing good in there, but I do come and check this area out and this TV Scenic game, brand new sealed, and that's not bad. I do like grabbing anything new and sealed. It ended up not really being worth it and there were a bunch of rips in the plastic all over the box with Amazon being picky the way they are you might get a return and it just wouldn't be worth it with such a big item. But these Illa stories, another cool brand new sealed toy. I Like I said, I'm just grabbing everything brand new sealed, throwing it in the cart. Same thing with this triple cross, never heard of it before. Well, I'm gonna stick it in the cart. I'll look everything up later. And that Illa story is actually worth it. That pit cross, I don't believe was worth it. I will show you guys everything I ended up picking up at the end of this video, how much money I expect to make from it, how much money I spent on these items, where I'm gonna sell them. I sell on multiple different platforms, but eBay and Amazon are my main two. Now, I'm just going through these toys, they're back to back with the electronics, just swapping back and forth in this aisle and you guys can see how many different types of electronics they have and most of it's really not worth it. This looked like old tech, didn't look like it'd be worth anything, I threw it in the cart without looking it up. I do end up scanning it and at $4, yeah, there's money to be made there so don't judge a book by its cover. That thing, normally I probably wouldn't even look up but because it was brand new sealed I decided to and look at this controller. It is busted. <laughs> that analog stick was completely bent sideways. Wouldn't be worth it there. Um, but, you know, I'm seeing all these different things on the shelves, and it is a little overwhelming. There are a lot of different things. And this Brother printer is something right here that, let me know if you guys would pick it up. It is a Brother MFC 8480DN, and this thing is massive. Look at that. I mean, this thing probably weighed 50 pounds. It was huge. But... If it works, there is a lot of money to be made in this, and I just didn't know if I wanted to deal with shipping it, with storing it, with even picking it up off the shelf. Uh, would you guys do it? You know, I, I would have to go through the whole testing process, and that's what's tough sometimes with electronics. Maybe you think you tested everything, and one little feature on the printer or computer or whatever type of electronic you buy doesn't work. Well, now you're out your initial buy cost and all the time it took to test it. So... You know, my Goodwills might differ from yours. Mine only give you a two-day return policy, which isn't super gracious. Now, I'm heading to the CDs over here, and you guys can see how many they have. They just opened up this Goodwill not long ago, and I decide I'm going to scan as many as I possibly can. And I went through one, two, three, four, five rows, and I've only pulled out one CD. So... It gets me thinking that somebody has probably already been through scanning these because, I mean, that's a lot of CDs to scan to not really find anything. So I'm going to leave it. I do end up scanning a few more rows and I come away with four CDs. It wasn't really worth the time that I was spending over there. I'm sure there were a few there, but it did seem kind of cherry picked and that's okay. Sometimes just cut your losses. Don't waste your time. You could always come back a week later and oh, I'm glad I came over here. This is pretty sweet. This is a Rock Band 2 drum set, $12, which is kind of expensive to be completely honest, but everything feels nice. I'm hitting the pads, make sure they feel good. It's missing the battery cover, but hey, there's no corrosion back there. That's not bad. Now, I could buy a replacement battery cover on eBay, and that is what I end up doing. You could see I throw it in the cart. We have a few extra things in the cart that you guys didn't see me grab, and again, we'll go over it all right when we leave this Goodwill and into the car. And you know what? Let's just head out of here now. Let's head home and see what I picked up. All right, guys, we are back at the house. I actually got a pretty decent amount of stuff I'm pretty happy with. I grabbed one thing heading out of the store that I don't think I showed you guys on camera. Probably the best find there. Um, I actually did that with two items that I didn't show you on camera. So two really good items, let me show you. All right, so here is everything that I picked up. The Rock Band set was missing the battery cover, but there's one seller on eBay selling them for just about 10 bucks a pop. 
paid 12 bucks for it, so I'd be in the whole $22, which sounds like a lot, but these drum sets can go for over $100, especially if you have the game, you can bundle it together. You could be looking at $150, you know, it's insane, especially it's got a good uh, bass pedal, kick pedal, there's no corrosion. I, you might have seen me on camera testing here, here, and here, because these can bubble up when you hit them. So always test to make sure they're not bubbled up, and this thing should work perfectly fine. Uh, this is one of the items I grabbed that I didn't show you guys. It's a Casio Disc Title Printer. Uh, it prints titles on discs. Kind of cool. No idea if it works. I'm going to mess with it. I looked up the model number on eBay. Didn't even check Amazon. Uh, this just seemed more like an eBay item. $6 selling on eBay. Brand new for like $100. Used for anywhere between like $40 and $65. So maybe it's selling over on Amazon for a bit more. That's where I'd rather like to just ship it off to Amazon. But I do have to test it. Uh, and this one's used. The box is ripped open. Uh, right here we have that Linksys thing that this was I think the very first item or no the second item I picked up in the store. Not bad. Four dollars. Brand new sealed. Decent rank on Amazon. Uh, not amazing but it should still sell. Uh, I think it was like 30 35 dollars somewhere around there. So for four bucks hey I'll take it. I love new items. Again another new item. Uh, I see that two dollar sticker um, but there's a couple $3. I think I paid $3 for this, but that's all right. I sell Illustories a bunch. There's so many different types of these and they sell really fast all the time. I think the rank was around 120,000 in toys on Amazon, which this is going to sell pretty quickly. Pretty happy about that. Always keep an eye out for that brand right there. Illustory. You'll see them. Some boxes are way bigger than this. Not all of them are worth money, but most of the ones I find do end up being worth some good money. Now on to the CDs. So, <laughs> you heard me talking about it. You know, I start scanning. I'm scanning. I probably went through a good 100, 150 CDs and there was like no winners in there. So I think somebody had already come through and either scanned them or I'm not sure what was going on. This could have been somebody's duds. Maybe they sold online and they just dropped them off. But I was able to find a few winners. Nothing great. Uh, this guy I'll make like $2 on, but it sells really fast. The Mummy, I'll actually make a decent amount on it. So that's not bad. Um, this Neil Diamond, I totally forgot to see if the discs were in here, so I really hope they are. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And yeah, there's not normally one there, so that's good. All right, all the discs are in here, and this one didn't have a barcode, so I had to look this one up manually, and that's probably why it was worth some money, because most people don't want to do that. So that was nice. And then this guy, super inflated on Amazon, selling for like $50, $55. Uh, I don't think it's actually going to sell for that. Used is coming in way lower. If I could get 20 points for this, I'd be pretty happy. Now, for the big score, the score that I told you guys I saw right before I left, and it piqued my interest, this. It's brand new sealed. It's a Sony 3D Deluxe Starter Kit. 15 bucks. Brand new sealed on both ends. No barcode, so I had to type it in. I found it on Amazon, guys. Take a look at this listing. Selling for over a hundred dollars, decent rank. It's got the glasses, it has HDMI cable, a Blu ray 3D movie, a sync transmitter, whatever that is. But I'll take it. That was that's an awesome last score to find. And I would have walked right past it, but I was like, eh, while I'm waiting in line, let me look around here, let's see what I could see. And this ended up totally being worth it. I'm glad I took that double take. So yeah, definitely happy with all those finds. Uh, Goodwills are actually a little busy. Uh, that's I've only been to Goodwill twice, I think. The first time I walked out with nothing, it was the day or the day after they opened. This time, more things are out on the floor, so I am able to find more things. Uh, there was probably some other things there that I could have found to resell, but I was kind of quick. I still have to print and package like 13 eBay orders going out. It's four o'clock, post office closes at five. So I gotta do that. I have two Amazon orders, merchant fulfilled. Um, I started transferring over some of my uh, Amazon stuff to merchant fulfilled where I have to ship it myself instead of sending everything into Amazon. When everything got shut down, Amazon stopped accepting packages. So now I kind of do a healthy mix of both. 
I kind of want to get out of that now and just ship everything off into Amazon. I really do not like having those extra packages to ship on top of eBay. It just adds a lot of extra work when I could easily just have them all shipped off to Amazon. So, all right, so it's a few days later. I've gotten a haircut. Um, everything's opening up, everything's looking good. I ordered that replacement part for the Rock Band drum set and it's actually been probably closer to a week and it still hasn't come. And that's the issue right now with buying replacement parts or just buying anything off of eBay and Amazon. Uh, so that drum set is still sitting in the garage. Everything that I purchased has been shipped off to Amazon. So none of it has sold yet. Again, it's been about a week. So that money is still tied up. It, it was a very small amount of money, so it's not that big of a deal. But I wanted to come on here and just tell you guys um, that's been happening a lot lately with eBay and Amazon. I probably have had over the course of this lockdown, maybe seven or eight people and packages that were super late or they still haven't arrived. I had somebody order something back in May. It's now June 15th, I think. And it still hasn't gotten to the person. It was supposed to be there in three to five days at the latest. It's been almost four weeks so that is insane. It's a $40 item. I really don't want to refund the person. We've been trying to talk back and forth and there's nothing I can do about it. So that is a small issue right now. Uh, the mail is just completely backed up and it is a total pain. Uh, it's just part of business right now. And I have had to refund a few people where the packages just never got delivered. The most expensive ones were the $40 one that I'm dealing with right now and another $40 item that hasn't gotten to the person. So it's $80 in sales right there. And then it's happened to a bunch of things that I shipped via media mail. So CDs, books, things like that, where the most expensive thing I sold there was maybe 15, 20 bucks. So it's not the end of the world. I'm glad it hasn't happened to some of my really valuable items. I've sold some crazy items during this lockdown. It is insane the prices things are going for and still going for. So get your items listed. Don't worry too much about potential issues that may come up. It happens, but with the way prices are inflated right now, it's still worth the risk to just get things shipped out and moving. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I have so many other videos coming. I've been recording like crazy and I am finally getting around to uploading everything. So again, like the video if you haven't already, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions at all, comment down below. I will do my best to answer them. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.